There are approximately half a million billboards looming over American streets and highways. With the average advertising campaign lasting for only about four weeks, billboards come down as fast as they go up. But not all decommissioned billboards are headed for the trash. Some of them are headed for the beach. Old billboards get a second life as one-of-a-kind surfboard bags. The standard billboard is 48 feet wide by 14 feet tall and is made up of a three-layer vinyl composite, a polyester scrim coated with PVC on either side. At the cutting table, the workers layer the panels and clamp them to prevent wrinkles and buckling. They trace a surf bag shaped stencil on the vinyl surface. An industrial cutting machine cuts out the patterns. Each billboard yields enough fabric for 10 surf bags. Workers lay the pattern over a sturdy urethane coated sheet of polyester, then trace and cut panels. They repeat the process with a cushioning layer of quarter inch foam. What was once a vinyl billboard is ready for the next stage in its transformation. The first step in creating the surf bag is to screen print the company logo. The worker lays pre-cut black fabric onto a press. He transfers the company's artwork onto the fabric. Then he conveys it through a heater to set the ink. Using an industrial sewing machine and nylon thread, a seamster stitches the bag's three layers. He adds the screen printed nose. The seamster finishes the raw edge with polyester trim. A hot cutter burns the edges of the trim to prevent fraying. To finish the bag, the seamster joins the two halves with a heavy duty plastic zipper. Thanks to creative thinking, billboards that once dotted the city skyline have made their way to the coast instead of the landfill.